Earthquake. Earthquake. Light shaking expected in three seconds. Our team coverage continues with a 10 second warning sent to seismologists before the quake hit. The warning system is in its demonstration phase, meaning it's not ready for widespread use. 10 News reporter Marie Cornell found out a little more about where this morning's quake hit and why this warning system could mean the difference between life and death. This yellow star right in the middle of the Napa area marks the epicenter of this earthquake. Professor of Geology Thomas Rockwell at San Diego State says right under that is the West Napa Fault and movement there is what caused the earthquake. Now if you look at the bigger picture, he says this is part of the San Andreas system of faults. It's a zone that extends out, um, you know, 75 to 100 kilometers wide. So. This is the Pacific plate out here and it's moving relative to uh, the Central Valley at something on the order of four centimeters a year, which is about an inch and a half a year. Though the fault activity was in the Napa area, many parts of Northern California felt shakes. Thomas explains why. It's felt over a broad area because the energy from an earthquake is radiated outward and it, and it decreases with distance from the fault. So the areas that are close to the actual fault rupture are going to feel the most strongly. Okay, and then the further out you get, the less you feel it. Thomas says this should also remind San Diegans to be earthquake ready. He points out the Rose Canyon fault line, which runs through San Diego County, has the same activity level as the West Napa Fault. Marie Cornell, 10 News.